Anna Muzichuk is here with me. Uh, the game against Katerina Lagno just finished in a draw. Uh, it seemed like you were really pressing and um, something went off in the end. Uh, can you just uh, tell a little bit about your thought process there in the end when you were chasing her king with your, with your queen and the rook? Yeah, I was just told that it was winning. So. <laughs> and not, not the best feeling, but uh, I, I didn't see this idea. It was kind of sad. Yeah, so you, you did miss Queen F7. You you thought for quite a long time before Rook G8. Uh, so what else did you consider? Like which other possibilities? Well, Rook G8 or Queen A8 mainly. So, but uh, after each move, there are different possibilities for for the opponent. So I I just uh, I couldn't find the way. Um, there was a free fold position claim in your game, right? Uh, could you s tell a little bit about, about this? Uh, what happened there? Um, okay, she like offered a draw. I, th I said that I, after move 40, I'll have to think. And then she decided to climb. But uh, when the arbiter came, I said that this position was with the queen on c8. Mm -hmm. So two times with queen on d7 and one with uh, queen on c8. And then the arbiter uh, confirmed that it's not. Well, how do you assess your tournament so far? Uh, are you? So I understand you're not satisfied with today's game because you just um, realized that you could uh, win. But in general, how do you assess your tournament? Um, so far, it's bad, but uh, it's um, three rounds. Let's hope the next rounds will be better. It's a long event. Um, and well, so far you say it's bad, but what would you do? Let's say maybe you have some special uh, things that you do to kind of change this trend. Uh, watch some movies or whatever, you know, whatever you, you, you can help you. Do you have some tricks like that? Uh, no, but I wish I had. <laughs> then it would help at all events. Uh, but uh, no, just play game by game. Okay, Anna, good luck in the next games and thank you for coming here.